in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Believing in the books, the books revealed by Allah. The Arabic word for books is kutub, singular form being kitab. Belief in this pillar requires and necessitates to acknowledge and accept all the books, the messages, the revelations that Allah the Most High sent down to His messengers throughout time. Even if just holistically, meaning those that we know and those that we don't know. But we say that Allah has sent down books, some of them have been named to us, some of them have not been named to us. Those that have been named to us are five or six. There is the Qur'an, of course, that was sent to this nation of the, with the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. The Qur'an, the Torah or the Torah, the Injil or the Evangel or the Gospel, the Zabur, which is the Psalms, the Psalms of David, Dawood, peace and blessings be upon him. And then there are Suhufi Ibrahim and Suhufi Musa, the scriptures of Abraham and the scriptures of Moses. I said five or six because some scholars view that the scriptures of Moses is just another name for the Torah. And others say no, it was a supplement and an addition. So based on that, uh, these two views arose. But we believe in them all. All has come from our Lord, the Most High. Allah revealed these books as a guidance and as a trial, a test. Their respective, I mean their separate recipients, the ones that received them, they were entrusted to protect these books, that was the trial. And they were given guidance in these books if they implemented, so it was guidance. What happened with all the previous books? Time and time again, this trust was betrayed and the books were corrupted, they were changed, they were adulterated, they were edited, these scriptures were misconstrued or added to, taken away from, edited, mistranslated, whatever the case, they were corrupted due to the selfish interests of a few in society or the society at large approving. Out of Allah's mercy, He kept sending time and time again another scripture to clarify to the people. One after another, after another, as a mercy for His slaves to not leave them in darkness. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he said, and this was narrated in Sahih Muslim, or collected in Sahih Muslim, لَيْسَ أَحَدْ الْعُذْرْ أَحَبُّ إِلَيْهِ مِنَ الله. There is no one whom excuse is more beloved to than Allah. He loves to excuse. He says, مِنْ أَجْلِ ذَلِكَ أَنزَلَ الْكِتَابُ وَأَرْسَلَ الرُّسُلِ Because of that, his love to excuse, he sent the books down and he dispatched the messengers. The forms of corruption that happened to the previous books, they vary. And perhaps this is a subject that is uh, for those entering this topic on a more academic level. But just as an example, Allah the Most High says in Surah Ali Imran, وَإِنَّ مِنْهُمْ لَفَرِيقًا يَلْوُونَ أَلْسِنَتَهُمْ بِالْكِتَابِ لِتَحْسَبُوهُ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ وَمَا هُوَ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ and among these people, the previous nations, the children of Israel, are a group that twist their tongue with the book. So that you would think it's from the book, whereas it is not from the book, he says. And they say it's from Allah, or it is not, it is not from Allah. Misconstrue. For example, a potential misconstruing of the book or a mistranslation. You take the word prophet, and you put the word son instead of it. Perhaps this ruins the message. Rather it causes the very pillars of Tawheed to crumble inside a person. The sole exception though is the Qur'an. The Qur'an has been preserved in its entirety down to the letter and the accent by Allah. He the Most High said, إِنَّا نَحْنُ نَزَّلْنَا الذِّكْرَ وَإِنَّا لَهُ لَحَافِظُونَ Indeed, it was we who sent down the remembrance, meaning the Qur'an, and surely we will guard it from corruption.